Hey guys, <laughs> I'm back again. Yeah, so soon, you can't get rid of me. Uh, this was the other small thing I was going to mention. Um, some of you may have seen the gravity feed oil drip system on my lathe. It's just an old can of shotgun powder, sight tube, tap, and it comes down, well at the moment, amidst all this junk, <laughs> is the business end with the drip tube. Well, I thought I'd show you the components for much the same thing, which I'm going to put on the mill. I don't really need lube quite a lot of the time, but there are times when I would, would like to have a steady small drip. And I'm going to use the same approach. So, I've got another old can of pistol powder, this was. Um, just made up a simple glass sight tube and we've got a ball valve shut off there and then this side <laughs> which it looks a bit messy has uh, a load of neodymium magnets which have been put on with CA glue and that so it'll stick to the side of the mill hopefully without slipping I probably won't overfill it and then it's another of these uh, segmented drip tubes with a piece of brass uh, brass tube added in the end and then here I've got a this actually came with a second shut off I don't know how good these shut offs are so uh, We've got two shut-offs, then a simple point there to attach the uh, silicon tubing and a pretty potent mag base. All I've done here is just solder the fitting to a piece of spare steel and bolted that on. I'm going to set it up on the lay, uh, <laughs> lathe, on the mill just show you approximately what I think will work as long as the tubing doesn't get in the uh, way too much. As you'll probably notice <laughs> I haven't cleaned up on here since doing the uh, steady fingers. I've got to take everything off and have a major clean up. So anyway, first of all the uh, you may not quite see to the top there I'm going to put this up there if you can see it. So we'll stick the can up there. I think it'll hold. I'm not going to fill this with oil. Now I noticed when I tried that that this tubing is very close to my high low, but I use that very infrequently and I can still get at it. And then I think the uh, mag base we'll probably put it somewhere somewhere on the side here providing it'll reach where I want to go I think it will look you see the if you can see that uh, it's not a very good fit that piece of brass tube but I think we'll try it out so I can move the mag base up or down a bit. It doesn't get in the way with the handles here. And then when I'm not using it, just tuck it up out of the way. So I'm just going to cut that tubing and put some oil in the can <laughs> and see what leaks. OK, we're going handheld again. Easiest way just to show. So that's stuck on. You might see the level there. Um, we've got a tiny little air, ble air bleed hole in the top cap. And then the primary valve and then down to the mag base. 
and then down to the uh, business end. Now the top valve is by far the more sensitive for control so if I turn the top one on let's see if I can get something coming through I'll get used to, there we go alright so actually the plastic valve is probably not going to get used Sorry about this moving around, I'm trying to do 10 things at once. And that's shut off with the top valve. And then probably when I'm not using it much, uh, shut this one off as well. Just so we don't get any leakage. Alright, so sorry about the handheld wobbles and everything. But that's the general idea, just gravity feed something to supply the oil um, this can move up or down it's not in the way of the handles as I said this doesn't really interfere here what I didn't want to do is try and have a permanent fixing for the uh, tank which is why I've got all the magnets on it so there we are just a simple idea using bits and pieces that I had except for getting this little fella and uh, it may be at some point I should be glad I've got it otherwise it'll just stay up there out of the way alright guys that's it now I must clean up this mess on the uh, mill table thanks for watching <laughs> I couldn't leave with all that mess on there so just done a bit of a clean up so again I'll say thanks for watching bye